enhancing online course with audio using GarageBand 09 for voice recording. After watching this episode, you will be familiar with necessary tool needed for voice recording. Be able to record and edit and export your voice as an MP3 file. Okay, let's get started. Click on GarageBand 09 icon which is represented by a keytar image or icon on the dock of your computer to launch the application. In no time, GarageBand new project will appear. For this voice recording purpose, we will choose Podcast Project and click Choose. Then you have to name the project and save it in your desired folders and directory. Here is a workspace of GarageBand 09. Under the podcast environments, you will see, although there are many tools in this program, you will not need to be overwhelmed by them. For this workshop, we will use just a few but important tools that are needed for voice recording. You will see four tracks here on the panel, and this includes podcast track, male voice track, female voice track, and jingle tracks. Since we will not make a podcast for this workshop, so we will pay attention and use only male voice tracks and female voice tracks. These features in podcast environment will enhance your voice dramatically and make your voice sound like a pro. If you are a male, click on Male Voice Track for recording. But if you are a female, choose Female Voice Track. In this example, we will use Male Voice Track. Before we start the recording and hit the record button at the bottom of the screen, Please make sure that metronome is cancelled. To do this, go to control menu and uncheck metronome. If we do not cancel metronome, it will include the TikTok sound of metronome in our voice track. Since voice track is set, metronome is cancelled and we are now ready to go. Click on the record button here and start talking or narrating. When you have finished, hit the same button again to stop the recording. Now, you will see your voice track appears as waves in the audio region here. You can preview what you have recorded by dragging a pay head to the beginning of the track or wave whatever you may wish to call it, and press play or hit a space bar on your keyboard to play back the track. To stop, simply hit the play button or the space bar again. In case you make a mistake while recording, just as your tongue got twisted or make an incorrect pronunciation, do not be panicked. Keep recording until the end of your script. We can fix this problem easily by deleting the unwanted portions out of the track. To edit, simply preview the recorded track and stop at the point that you want to delete. Move your mouse or pointer to the middle of the track in the audio region until you see your mouse or pointer appears like a clause symbol or a plus symbol like this. Next. Make a selection by dragging and highlighting the portion that you want to delete. It will appear gray and ready to be deleted. But to make sure that you will precisely delete the right part of the track, you may need to listen to the selected area again by placing the space bar. When this is done, it will play back only the highlighted or selected area. Finally, if the selected area is the correct portion to be deleted, go to Edit menu and choose Delete or hit a Delete button on your keyboard. When you delete a portion of your track, GarageBand will split your tracks into different portions. So now, you will need to merge them together by holding down your Shift key. 
and use your mouse select all tracks you want to merge. When this is done, all the selected tracks will appear in the dark purple color. Then go to Edit menu, choose Join. All your tracks will be joined as a single track again. Splitting track. Why do we need to split the track? Because we want the exact length of narration to fit well with other projects. Okay, let's try to split up this track into three sections. Start by dragging the playhead to a desired position that you want to split. It should be a position that has no voice recording. For this example, it should be here and then go to Edit menu and choose Split. And do this one more time here by dragging the playhead to position we want and go to Edit menu and choose Split. You might notice a small play button on the top of each track. If you click on this button, it will play back the track over and over again. This is a fast way to double check on each track. Exporting a track as an MP3 file. After we have three separate tracks in our project, it is the time to export these tracks as MP3 files so that you can incorporate them with other projects. First, Click at a track that we want to export to make it active. Then go to Chair menu where you will have a few options but more than enough to export and share your selected track, just as Send Song to iTunes, Export Song to Disk, and Burn Song to CD. For this example, we will use and recommend it Export Song to Disk which allow you to save the tracks as an mp3 files in your preferred folders and directory. Okay, go ahead and export the tracks to the disk. The program will show you the default setting using an mp3 encoder with high quality. This setting is sufficient for most users in terms of audio quality. So, next, we will proceed by clicking at the export button. Then you can name the files and choose your folder that you want the file to be safe. That's a wrap. <laughs>